everyone, Brenda Summers, Independent Sunsy Consultant. Today I'm going to be showing you the Bring Back My Bar for Sniffs. I'm so excited, yay! So if you're new to my channel, welcome, and if you're not, welcome back. Here we're going over the 25 winners. I had done the list a couple months ago, went over the set notes, but I actually have the bars with me today. Yay, so I'm so excited. This happens usually twice a year, since he will do it in the spring, summer, or the fall, winter. I mean, and the fall and winter time frame. And us as consultants, you as the fans and the customers, not saying consultants can't be fans, I'm a big fan, I'm customer first and then the consultant, get to vote on about a hundred cents that Sensi puts up in a limited time frame. And then within that time frame, you get to vote every five minutes for the cents that you want to come back. And these are retired cents that Sensi has um, had in the previous. So every season, some of their um, scents have to go into the retirement vault. And this is why we have Bring Back My Bar. Ooh, it's exciting. So um, we got to vote, narrowed it down to 20 most popular scents, and then Sensi threw in five more. So with a total of 25 Bring Back My Bars, I'm so excited. I love Bring Back My Bar. It gives me a chance to smell what I normally wouldn't smell and try fragrances that I wouldn't think that I would like, but maybe I do. Just on the um, description sometimes, it does nothing until you smell them because on the descriptions, I find that I fall in love with a scent and then I actually smell it and it's like, ugh, I really don't like that. And then I fall in love with scents that I didn't think that I would fall in love. So. Sit down, have a drink, kick back, have a piece of paper, and here we go with Bring Back My Bar. I will show you each bar. I'll show you the color, I'll show you the packaging, and then I will give you my first sniffs. Sniff perception is my own. Everybody's sniffer sniffs differently, but you can gauge it. If you're similar to my scent profile, sometimes you can gauge it pretty much, but I will give you my honest feedback, whether or not I recommend it or not. So here we go. Um, the first one that we're going to do is Blue Hyacinth. And um, it's this pretty packaging. It's like purple. And actually, Sensi's changed the packaging up a little bit. They put this Bring Back My Bar sticker instead of the packaging being Bring Back My Bar. It's just Bring Back My Bar with the sticker. So that's kind of neat. And that's different for Sensi. Usually it's Bring Back My Bar and it's it'll have Bring Back My Bar on the packaging. But this time around, they did it like a little sticker. So that's different. I think that's cool. This is really pretty packaging to me. It's like a purpley blue kind of um, color. And then the wax here is like a, a bluish color. And then inside, it's like a purpley color. So depending on the variance of the light here, it's either purple or blue or bluish purple. <laughs> so it has nothing to do with the smells. So I like colors, but anyways, that's just me. Okay, my first sniff um, opinion. Okay, not what I thought it would be. I was hoping that it would be more florally. It's um, kind of like a bitter. Yeah, bitter, but floral. So different. Um, something that I wouldn't gravitate towards. It's got that bitter note to it, though. But the floral. And then all I smell is wax. So not very strong, actually. Very light. I find that I have to put my sniffer right into it. Um, I can't really say that I really love this because I'm a real floral person and I have to fall in love with it. And on first sniffs, ugh, no, <laughs> I couldn't recommend this to you. It's light, it's bitter, it's got some florals in it, but it's not as florally as I would like it to be. So honestly, don't blow your money on Blue Hyacinth. Um, and the scent notes to this is florals from heaven, blue 
a pure blue hyacinth is all about the flower power. Eh -eh. <laughs> no flower power here. <laughs> If it was a real true floral, I would love it. And I don't, I'm so sorry. If people love this scent, I'm kind of disappointed in it, but that's just my perception. You may love it though. You may get it and fall in love with it. I really don't know until I warm it, but I generally know how a scent will go on cold sniffs, not always. And to me, this is really light. I really had to put my sniffer in it. And I'm kind of disappointed. So that's Blue Hyacinth. Sorry, but that's just my opinion. The next one we're going to be reviewing Candy Crave. A lot of people have um, raved about Candy Crave. It's supposed to be sweet, like a cotton candy type thing. It's pretty blue, light blue packaging. And then here's the blue kind of wax. And then here's what it looks like inside. So I've never smelled most of these so I can't really tell you um, what I'll think but okay let's get my sniffer going and let's see if I can get it out of the packaging so let's first sniff it here okay I smell nothing is it my nose today okay I smell some orange why am I smelling orange is there supposed to be orange in here and okay not very, not very strong. I'm smelling a sweet, but oh my gosh, my sniffer. I'm smelling wax. So please, someone help me. Does Candy Crave actually smell good? To me, it smells like wax and a little bit of orange. It's sweet. It's very, very light. Like even putting my sniffer into it, I really don't like it. To be on it well how can I say I like it I can't even smell it so it might be my sniffer today but let's hear the scent notes just the sweet stuff raspberry sorbet cotton candy and fluffy marshmallow well okay the raspberry it must be the orange that I'm smelling but honestly um, a lot of people love this I can't recommend it I'm disappointed in it yeah I'm smelling orange so it's supposed to be raspberry, it's supposed to be marshmallow, and it's supposed to be cotton candy. Well, <laughs> on that one, so I won't be purchasing that one again. Oh, well, got to try it. <laughs> That's just my honest opinion. Um, a lot of people love it. It's sweet. It's the raspberry they love, and then the cotton candy, and the fluffy marshmallow. I don't smell any of those. That is just so disappointing to me. Okay, coffee time. You must think that I must be able to smell the coffee. If I can't, then I'm going to fire my nose because my nose is going rogue today. And you would think I would be able to smell coffee time. Um, I'm assuming it's coffee. <laughs> okay, here's the packaging. It's uh, actually a deep brown color, which is kind of nice. And then a deep brown wax. So, and a lot of people rave about this. They want more coffee scents in Scentsy. And to me, I can take it or leave it. I like a good cup of coffee every now and then. The smell of it doesn't really bother me. But um, a lot of people want co more coffee scents. So, Scentsy, if you're listening, more coffee scents, please. <laughs> okay. And as I open it up, I can smell the deep roasted coffee. Um, whether or not it's supposed to smell like, like deep roasted coffee. But here's what it looks like. And yeah, very, very strong. Yeah, it's all coffee. <laughs> um, wow, overpowering coffee. That's all I smell. I'm sure there's some creaminess. Maybe there's cream in here. But coffee, coffee, coffee. Um, medium, to, medium to strong. And if you like downright coffee, you'll love um, coffee time. Um, I can recommend it on strength. Um, I don't particularly gravitate towards coffee, but a lot of people do. Um, to me, it kind of smells like uh, like a Parline um, coffee. Like there's like a sweetness, sugary, um, brown sugar kind of uh, scent note, caramelly that I get with this. That's just my nose. Whether or not there is those scent notes, I will read those to you. Coffee time, bold and sophisticated. Yes, as soon as I opened it up, it was very strong. 
um, wake up to rich aroma of freshly roasted coffee beans. And exactly, exactly what they say. But uh, like I said, I smelled like a brown sugar, praline type um, kind of um, notes to it. So that's just my nose and what I think of it. But yeah, it's downright coffee. So yes, on I personally wouldn't buy this, but I can recommend anybody that loves coffee scents to pick this up. It's strong. Um, I'm hoping I'm warm. It's strong. Um, it's medium to strong on cold sniffs. So yay! <laughs> one, one for three. And let's go. Fresh um, French kiss. Now everybody's been raving about French kiss. Um, it's this pretty, like burgundy kind of packaging, burgundy kind of wax. And then here we go. So, I don't know if I'm going to like this or not. Okay, different. Um, I don't know what to think of this one. Okay, I get wax again. My sniffer's not sniffing today. Okay, I don't like it. Very light to me. I don't know why. Maybe I got duds. Maybe my nose has gone rogue and it decided I'm not going to sniff today. So French Rose, sorry. It's another dud for my nose. Hopefully um, anybody that loves French Kiss will love it. And it's a good one. Sweet Fig Tenderly Crest by Coconut Pulp, Exotic Cedar, and Caramel. Well, I wish I could smell the coconut. Fig I'm not so sure about. Um, maybe a slight hint of coconut. But none of the above. It's another dud. Sorry, bring back my bar. I had so much high hopes for you. And this one is another dud. So it goes in my... Eh, eh. <laughs> it's just my nose though. A lot of people love it. So don't go by me. I'm not a connoisseur by any means. My nose goes rogue. I smell things that normal people don't smell. I smell licorice in things that shouldn't have licorice in them. So what does that tell you? Usually, um, I'm pretty good on the ones that I can really smell. And that one was really light. It smelled like wax mostly to me. Um, it's not a winner in my, my um, books. So sorry. Fresh cut daisies. Now I'm hoping that this one smells like fresh cut daisies, like a floral, a nice one that I like, a sweet one, but it could be bitter. It could be off-putting. So we'll, we'll see. Here's this pretty packaging. So yellow and then it's white actually. I would have thought yellow wax, but that's okay. And then this is what it looks like inside. So um, let me see if I can get this out of the packaging. Ooh. Oh, right away, I can smell it, actually. Oh, I really like, love this one. Very strong, very nice, very sweet. I can smell the daisies. Oh, I'm in love with this one. I could buy like a thousand <laughs> wax bars of this. Oh, yeah, this is a highly recommend. I'm smelling the floral, the sweet. It's lovely to my nose. Like, my nose is singing right now. La, la. <laughs> Floral, yay! Oh, this is so nice. I can't tell you. I wish I had smell -a vision I wish that I could do, like, a, <laughs> a happy dance. Because my nose, it's smelling. Yay! <laughs> Everybody's thinking I'm nuts. Maybe I am a little nutty. But I'm really happy with this one. If... That's all Bring Back My Bar gives to me is Fresh Cut Daisies. I'm happy it's going to be added to my florals. I really, really love this. This is really strong on cold set smell. Um, I'm hoping that it has longevity when I warm it. So I'll be buying some more of these, definitely. So Fresh Cut Daisies. A metal, a wash in summer blooms, freshly cut grass and clover with daisy, buttercups, and ivy. Yep, I could smell all those, actually. I couldn't put my um, finger on the cut grass. But yeah, it's got that fresh, vibrant, floral. I'm overwhelmed with the florals. I love the florals. But you can smell 
the freshness of the grass. I really, really love this. <laughs> Ooh, it's so nice. It's a pretty, pretty scent. I can see why this was brought back. Okay, enough about my fresh cut days. <laughs> Next is Honeymoon Hideaway. A lot of people love this one. I've never smelt it personally. Um, it's this pretty blue packaging. I love the colors. And then it's a white wax again. So I would have thought it would have been blue, but that's just me. And then there's the wax. So let me see if I can get it out of my, oh, my um, wax and clam. Sorry. I smell pear. Pear and grossness. I really don't think this is Honeymoon Hideaway. Ugh. Ugh. I can definitely smell, but... Uh-uh. Yuck, 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 yuck. So for all those that love Honeymoon Hideaway, I'm sorry. I butchered it. Ugh. I don't like it. Sorry. Escape to a secluded retreat of dew kissed lily and tart sweet kiwi shaded by lush coconut palm. I don't get any of that. I don't get any of that. And I would love to smell all that. The coconut, the lily. Maybe the kiwi's coming out, but ugh, I'm putting lipstick on here. Okay. It's very light. I'm disappointed. All I can smell is like a kiwi, sweet fruit kind of scent. None of the, not like fresh cut daisies. I'm disappointed. Uh -uh. So there's Honeymoon Hideaway. That's my opinion. A lot of people are going to love it. They do love it. I don't love it. Kahiko Hula. Now I have had this in the past. Bought it on a stash. To me, it's very light. It's it's nothing to write home about, but that's just me. Here's the pretty, uh, I guess, orangey kind of packaging. And then it's a yellow cut kind of color. I'm surprised. But to me, this does nothing for me. It's got like a bitter grapefruit kind of. Like this one really smells compared to the ones that I got on a D-stash. <sighs> Is it supposed to be pineapple? Because it's a bitter pineapple. It's supposed to be tropical. I know that. Very light. Very disappointing. I'm very disappointed in this. Um, it does smell better, but it's light. Bitter pineapple. That's what I get from this. I'm sorry if anybody loves Kahiko Hula. Um, it's supposed to be a tropical kind of fruity scent. Say aloha with this exotic passion fruit, mango, and papaya. Uh-uh. To me, I get bitter pineapple. I don't get the mango. I don't get the papaya. And the passion fruit? I'm stumped. Okay, well, we've got one, two, three, four, five I don't like versus two. So we're not off to a good start, but hey, not everybody's going to love everything, especially me. I don't love everything. <laughs> Apparently, um, lemon thyme berry. This one seems interesting. I like lemon. Not so sure about the herbly thyme, but we'll see. It's a pretty purple kind of packaging. I love the purples. Um, if you could buy your wax on color, <laughs> I would buy a lot of purple. But anyways, and then here's what this looks like inside. So, and let's give it a whirl. See if I can smell the lemon. Okay, this is so different. Okay, this is very light, but as soon as I, I turn it over, I can really definitely smell the lemon. Like, lemon comes through. Very pretty, actually. I'm really surprised. I don't get the thyme with it. I don't get the fresh, or like the herbly kind of thyme. It's kind of sweet. But I definitely do get the lemon. I really like this one. Um, it's not wham bam in your face. It's not like squeeze the day or coco lime or any of those. But it's in between. And I really, really like this. So I'm surprised. 
but I do like this one, but lemon thyme berry. Oh, berry. Yeah, that's another thing that I was getting from it. It's like, I can smell berry. Wow. They're really different to what, I, um, to what I'm used to. So, sparkling lemonade and strawberry sprinkled with crushed thyme. I do get the lemon. I don't get the strawberry. I get the berry. So, it must be the strawberry. And then the crushed thyme, uh-uh. So if you're scared about thyme, if you're scared about herbly scents, uh-uh. All that comes through is the berry and the lemon. It's supposed to be lemonade, but I don't get the fizziness or like the lemonade part. I get the lemon. Sorry, my nose is stuffed up again. And there you have it. So three for five. Yay! We're hitting some, some good ones. And then Lucky in Love. Okay, I've heard a lot of good things about Lucky in Love. I'm hoping that I like it. It's kind of light purpley kind of wax. It's kind of pretty. And here's what it looks like on the inside. And then let's get it out of the wax thing. So, oh, really, really pretty. Oh, I'm really loving this. Not much wonder people love this. To me, it's a pretty girly kind of scent. I can't really put my, my nose on the scent notes, but I really like this. It's light to medium, more medium than here. This is light. But, oh wow, I could get behind this. I Like I said, I don't get any particular scent note um, throwing at me, but to me, this is a very pretty girly kind of scent. How much wonder people love it? I love it. Sweet bouquet of mandarin, bergamot, and orange with hints of peaches and berries. Well, they all meld really, really well in this. Oh, I'm going to love this one. I'm definitely going to be um, buying more. I mean, it's not overly powering, but it'll hum in the background really, really nice. I'm really, really liking it. It's going to go great in my bedroom. Wow, nice. <laughs> Finally. So that's Lucky in Love. Yay. So four <laughs> that I love. And then um, My Wish. I really haven't heard much about My Wish. Um, but people must love it because they actually voted it back. And it's another pretty purple packaging. I love the packaging. And then Pretty Purple. And then here we go. So we'll see what my sniffer sniffs today. <laughs> Ugh, very off putting. Ugh. <laughs> what does it smell like? Is it supposed to be plum? Ugh. My wish is not my wish at all. This is horrible. Horrible. <sighs> okay, my nose doesn't like it. I couldn't tell you what the scent notes were in this. This to me is just <sighs> downright gross. I'm sorry. Anybody that loves my wish, I do get like a sweetness to it, but it's very off putting. A confection of earthy fig, sweet violet, and playful marshmallow will have you wishing for more. It must be that earthy fig. I really don't like that. I don't get very much floral. I don't know what to think of this one, but I definitely don't like, like it. I'm so sorry, but ugh, definitely. Nope. Ugh, I'm kind of disappointed because I thought I would like more. And then ocean. I would think that I would like ocean. You would think I would like ocean. So it's this pretty greeny kind of wax it's like a turquoise i like the packaging and then this one let's so see and then it's like this exactly like the ocean so. <laughs> oh very pretty i don't get much here though but i get more on this side fresh vibrant um not salty i i'm so glad that it's not salty but it's fresh and vibrant. It's kind of like um, by the sea, but a little bit lighter. 
I'm hoping on warm that it comes out, but I really, really like this one. Very light though, to be honest. But yeah, I do like it. So even though it's really light, it'll go great in my bathroom in a smaller space. Um, I can't say that I don't like it, so yay! I would buy another bar actually. I wouldn't go overboard on it, but I do really enjoy it from what I can smell from on a cold. So let's hear the scent notes. Cool and refreshing aquatic notes deepened with water lilies and ocean breezes. So I don't necessarily pick out the floral water lilies, but I do pick out like the ocean aquatic. Very, it's very pretty. Uh, to me, everything's pretty today. This is a pretty, pretty scent. It's, it's great for a bathroom, like I said, or small spaces. So ocean, I can recommend. So yay. <laughs> ah, it's about time. <laughs> I don't feel, I'm sorry to be such a negative person on, on those other ones, but I really can't recommend what I don't like. So that's just me being straight up. I don't um, lie about things. Why? I mean, you're a customer. Why would you want someone to lie to you about a scent that absolutely smells like crap? Sometimes Sensi hits it right on the nose and sometimes it doesn't. To me, the ones that I said that I don't like, to me, ugh, that's just me. I would not buy them again. So I'm glad that I got to sniff them, but that's about it. So that's where I am. I'm 100% um, truthful and you can see it on my face. Like, <laughs> Okay, oodles of orange. I do like. I've had it in a scent pack. I've never had it in the wax. A lot of people ha have tried it in like the bath products. I think it was part of their kid line a couple years ago. So a lot of people love this. So I'm hoping it smells like sweet orange goodness. So here's the pretty packaging and then here's the orangey kind of. It reminds me of a creamsicle actually, the color, if you've had orange creamsicles a lot. So maybe I smell like an orange creamsicle. So here's what it looks like. It's kind of like a yellowy light orange. So and let's take it out of the wax pod and wow. Wow, wow, wow. I like this. Very, very nice. Oodles of orange. There's oodles of orange. Very, very nice. Very pleasant. Very sweet. Not uh, overpowering in the sweetness. You'll get the nice, fresh zestiness of an orange. It's it's kind of like a creamsicle. It's creamy. It's zesty. It's orangey. It's not overpowering. It's like a light to medium. I really like this one. Oodles of orange. So, on cold snuff, I really love it. Performance-wise, I couldn't tell you. I'm hoping that it does perform really, really well. And kids will love the sweet, citrusy, scented, punched up by fresh pineapple, crisp papaya, mango, blossom, and ripe bunches of tropical berries. Yum. Well, I get the, the citrusy. I don't get all those scent notes, but all those scent notes together really, really bring out the orange to it. So... Yum, yum, yum. I really like it. So, um, I can recommend Oodles of Orange. Palo San Santo. I am heard a lot about this one. I don't think I'm going to like it, to be honest. It's like a beigey kind of brownie kind of um, packaging. But I'll keep an open mind. It's kind of like a beigey kind of wax. And I'm... Assuming it's going to be earthy or spicy or along the scent notes that I don't like, woodsy. So we'll see. Ugh. What does it smell like? Like sand and leather got together? Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't like it. A lot of people love this. Oh. Okay. It does remind me of going into a leather shop, but the leather here is just, no, it's, I'm thinking tires, a cross between sand and tires and leather. Okay, sorry. A lot of people love this one because of all those notes. 
I don't like it. Palo Santo. Sorry for all those lovers out there. Um, charred cedar bark and teak are the ultimate dreamboat blend. Oh. Okay, I got leather. I got sand and I got tires. So <laughs> what does that tell you? A lot of people love it though. Not for me. Sorry. Spring Forward is the next one. Here we go. Spring Forward. A pretty pink packaging. And then here's the pretty pink wax. And then um, very light. Very, very light. Okay. I'm getting like a really, really fresh bitter floral note for this. It smells kind of like stems off of dandelions to me. Kind of off-putting. Kind of interesting though. Okay, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. It's very fresh. It's it's along the lines of like fresh cut grass. Um, anything along that line. But to me, I'm getting like dandelion. So what does that tell you? Um... It's kind of off-putting, but it's kind of not. I'm on the fence about it, to be honest, until I actually um, warm it. But I don't think I would buy another bar, to be honest. If Sunshine had a scent, it would be this burst of Italian bergamot, raspberry jam, and cedarwood. Okay, it must be the cedarwood coming out. I don't like it. The bergamot, I can see. And the raspberry jam, though, I get floral. Yeah. So... Not for me, sorry. A little bit too woodsy, kind of. So spring forward. On the fence. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. So it's kind of bitter. Ugh. So anyways. <laughs> That's just me. Strawberry swirl. Mmm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Um, it's like a light pink. And then a light pink. Kind of reminds me of a milkshake, actually. So, um, so, and here's what it looks like. And I'm expecting strawberry. <laughs> like a strawberry milkshake, actually. Oh, I can't get it out. Wow. Okay. Wow. Strawberry cheesecake comes to mind. Strawberry. Cheesecake? <laughs> kind of like a milkshake. Okay, I don't really, really hate this. Um, it kind of smells like strawberry jam. It's not like a, a, a real, authentic, fresh strawberry. But I kind of like it. It kind of reminds me of a blizzard, too. <laughs> From Dairy Queen. So, straight up strawberry is what I get. Sweet. Um, creaminess. I really like it actually. Uh, I could recommend that one. Um, blissfully sweet and creamy strawberry swirl whoops together frozen strawberry frothy milk and vanilla. Like I said, strawberry milkshake, a blizzard. <laughs> there you go. So I really like that one. Um, I would buy another bar, but I wouldn't go crazy. Um, it's really not up my scent alley. Um, it is nice, though. I can recommend it. So I will enjoy it while I have it. I might buy another bar, but um, I'm over it. <laughs> it's good for the summer, though. If you're looking for some good summer scents, that would be a good one. Um, the strawberry is good, actually, in it. So I really, really like it. And then Summer Soleil. Um, we'll see. It's like this pretty orange kind of packaging um, and then it's kind of like an orangey kind of wax and then okay that's actually pretty that's the good words that I can say okay it's kind of light here though and then I really don't get much from it to be honest it's another dead. To me, when I first smelt it, it smelt pretty, but really light. 
but now all I smell is wax. So it's another dud to my nose. Sorry for anybody that lo loves summer sole. Pineapple and coconut milk top fluffy vanilla marshmallow. I get nothing. I don't get the pineapple. I don't even get the coconut. I'm really disappointed. Maybe a tad pineapple -y, but very light. I would not buy this. Um, it's okay, but not a recommend. Um, sorry. Um, you would think, like, just on the description, I really, really would love it, but ah, kind of disappointed. Sweet pea and vanilla. I'm hoping that I love this one. A lot of people love it. Um, there's a pretty, I guess, like, I was going to say strawberry color, <laughs> like a ready kind of pinkish kind of um, color. And that's kind of ready. And here you go. And let's see. Okay, I'm having problems. Why am I having problems getting it out today? I don't know. Okay, really strong. It's really strong. To me, it's almost like a candy kind of smell. Okay, it's off-putting. I don't like it. For floral, I'm disappointed. Very strong, very bitter to me. Very off-putting. I do not like this one. So that's sweet pea and vanilla. I'm disappointed. I don't... I guess I'm smelling the sweet pea. It's very bitter and... Ugh. And then the vanilla I don't get. So, sorry. Ah... <sighs>